Hi guys and welcome back to Read No Grow. This week is a little bit different. This is the Book Lover's Guide to Christmas Gifts. We're on the run up to Christmas now. I know some people it's a wee bit early, but in reality, I always find it's a little bit better to sort of spread the cost of your gifts out. So I sort of start buying a little bit this month and then a little bit next month, and then it doesn't seem like such a big spend all in December. So if you've got family members or friends, or maybe you just want to treat yourself around the Christmas time, then this video is for you. I've got lots of suggestions and this is just part one because some of the things that I wanted to talk about actually haven't arrived yet and I kind of wanted to show them to you guys as well. So this is part one and look forward to part two. So I'll be going over seven different gift ideas in this video, ranging from book vouchers to book ends. So we'll just start off with the basics. So a really easy thing to get an avid book lover is just a voucher because you don't know what they've already read, especially if they read a ton of books. And I've just got one here and this one's from Waterstones, which is one of my favourite bookshops. And what I like about the Waterstones ones is that they come in lovely little pretty illustrations. So you can physically get these in store or you can order them online and get them by post. And these would actually make a cute thing to put into a book as well if you did know a book that they hadn't read as like a little bookmark and then they can also go and buy themselves a book too. But you can also get like an e-gift card as well. So if you're maybe running tight for time or something like that, that's a really handy thing to do. And these range from like £10 to £100 that you can put on these, which is really handy. But some people don't like maybe the sort of bigger book chains and you can also inquire in maybe like their local bookstore just to see if they do vouchers too, because some people like to support more of the independent bookshops. So that's a really nice idea too. And you're also supporting like a local bookstore as well. And the next one is a personalized book cushion. So you might have seen this one before right here. So I got this a while ago and I love it. So um, I just thought it was really nice because it was personalized. It says reserved for Hayden. And I just love the kind of like vintagey vibes of it, kind of like oldie worldy with like the kind of older books and then the little teacup on top. And I just thought it was really sweet with the kind of like watercolor kind of effect that it has. They had a few different styles on Etsy I got this from. And the other one was kind of like they had like more brighter colored books. And you could actually, I think you could choose the name of the book that you wanted on the spine. So you could personalize it a little bit further. And that was also really lovely. I'll show a little photograph of that here too. I was kind of stuck between the two, but I went for this one in the end. But I just thought this was like a really nice thing to get someone if they've got like a their favorite kind of reading spot, you know, if they've got like a reading chair or something like that. I just thought that was like a really nice kind of gift as well for a book lover. And next is a handmade book sleeve and I absolutely love mine. So I got mine quite a wee while ago now and it's from a company called Paper and Words and they have the most beautiful designs on them. So I'll just show you. So inside, like the lining's always like slightly different or it just matches the sort of theme of the front of it. And mine's got lovely little um, gold stars on it which gold stars, gold flowers. And every design's usually different. They have, they release a few every quarter, I believe. So for every sort of season. And it'll be kind of that season theme, like, you know, spring, it'll be more kind of like pretty flowers and then autumnal, more kind of like autumnal sort of colors. And they're just lovely quality, just like everything, like the thread here is just so nice. And they're really like well-made. Um, and it's such a lovely idea because I used to just chuck my books in my bag and they'd get so tatty and this really protects them and I wish I'd just got it sooner. But they come in like different styles as well, different sizes, sorry. So mine's is like a paper back version here, but you've got like the hard back version and you've also got one that's like a little bit narrower for a switch, which I needed to Google, I did not know what a switch was. So they come in like different sizes depending on what you need them for. And I just thought this made a really lovely gift. And actually on the website, if you want like a gift option, they actually would wrap it in like a silk ribbon that kind of complements the sort of fabric color. So you would get it like really prettily arriving. And also they've got like festive tissue paper too, which is all recyclable. I'll like talk a, a bit about that later, but this company is very sort of environmentally conscious too. And I also thought it was a really great idea is that you could just use this as the wrapping, depending on whatever present you got someone, if it fitted in this, it could double up as whatever you've got them inside there. And then they've got this to keep forever, but it also could be like their, your wrapping paper. They also have a mailing list. So you'd get heads up on new arrivals, any events and some discounts too. 
but they've also got this kind of extra thing called the Secret Society where you'd pay every quarter and you'd get access to exclusive sleeve designs, 24 access to them before they like go to the kind of general public too, because these things sell out, like it's like run don't walk with some of these patterns, like people go crazy for them. And also you would get like extra discounts and they do this kind of bundle where you get like a candle, the sleeve, and you'd also get like a Zoom kind of yoga call too. Um, so it might be worthwhile doing that if you were really keen to sort of start a collection of these sleeves. But what I also loved about this company is they're really keen on being sustainable. So any order that you make, they plant a tree. And if you become a member every month, they also plant a tree. And then they also invest their money in a company called Ecology, who reinvest their money into projects that reduce greenhouse gas emissions. And um, they're very conscious of the packaging they use. It's all combustible or reusable or recyclable. So yeah, I just love this company. I just love the fact that they're trying to be really sustainable. I just love their products. I can't rave about them enough. Like they're such good quality. So if you wanted to get someone a present, I think they would absolutely love this. So next is the Papier Journals. So. If you're a bit like me, you're also a bit obsessed with stationery. I don't know if maybe just kind of book people do quite like their stationery too, but I am obsessed. And I just loved how the Papier stuff you could just completely customize. So you can get hardback, paperback, you can get gold foil, leather, you can have little monograms, you can have your name on it. You can decide if you want line dotted graph paper, or you can have like a wellness journal or just like a plain journal. There's just so many options. So if you're wanting to just make something a little bit special for someone, or I guarantee you'll probably end up buying something for yourself because it's just so nice. And the illustrations on the covers are lovely. Also illustrations, but there's also very plain, beautiful leather ones, like I mentioned before. So there's something for everyone and they're just really lovely quality. So I'll show you some of the things that I've bought. So this was my wellness journal and you can see that it's got gold foil on it. It's so pretty and it's just like the little details of this company. So I, I just love this. I don't, just little things, you know, just to always mark your place. And then just like little things. So the wellness journal actually does have like little sections. So it's got your goal sections, steps to get there. Um, thoughts and feelings, what went well today. So the wellness journal's got lovely little prompts, what I'm thankful for. And it's got like a little bit at the top where what your mood is, like little smiley faces, where you can just like, if you're sad, if you're feeling happy that day. Um, so that is like lovely if you maybe need like a little prompt for your journals. But alternatively, I got like kind of like a slightly more simpler design. So these are like the color block ones and it's not wanting to focus but that says read no grow, come on. Yeah, there we go. That says read no grow, um, HRH. So those are my initials. And I went with like color blocks. So I've got like two of them um, cause these are kind of like my branding colors. So you can just totally customize things, which I just love. Um, and then I just went for just plain like line journals here, but the quality of the paper is just really nice as well. And you get a lot for it. Like you do get lots of paper to write with. And I just love the hardbacks. I just thought they just felt so nice and the quality of them is really lovely. Um, you can get paperback as well, but I just think there's something about the, the hardbacks just feel really sturdy and lovely. Um, but like I said, you can get them in leather. You can do them very simple if you want. You can just get like your initials like at the bottom here. Um, but they also have like beautiful illustrations like I showed you there before. And they have a range of things. They've got everything from to-do lists, to weekday planners, to calendars, to food planners. So you could just go wild and choose anything. Um, but I really do love the journals. I think they make a really, really lovely present. And then they've also got things like diaries or academic diaries. And they've also got like a wedding section, which was really lovely. I was just having a wee look at that, like save the date cards and things like that. And like Christmas cards you could pick from as well. Um, and then they also had like photo books, you know, so just kind of like a lovely photo album that you can design yourself and put like lovely photos in of like a holiday or whatever. So there's so much to choose from. And like I said, the quality is great. So I would really recommend having a wee look at that if you're wanting to add like a little personal touch to a really like handy present. And next is a keyring, which I thought would just be a really cute little stocking filler. You know, you don't have to spend a fortune. This one that I bought, you can actually get on Amazon for about eight pounds. 
um, but it's just got all the kind of classic books on it in a little stack and I just thought it was dead cute. I think sometimes key rings can be a little bit tacky, but I just thought this was classy with the classics. And I actually bought this at the British Library, uh, which by the way, has the best gift shop. I spent a long time in there. And it's actually a really cool place to visit if you've got time to kill around London King's Cross. And um, they've got a huge like glass brass cabinet full of King George III's book collection. And they also have like really cool exhibitions on. When I was there, the Paddington exhibition was on, but I didn't have time to like go around it. And at the moment they've got Alexander the Great. So they do really cool things. And they've got like pieces of literacy, like Jane Austen's writing desk. They've got actual handwritten lyrics from the Beatles. They've got original works from Charles Dickens there. So it's like definitely worthwhile a little look if you're around there. Um, and that was my little souvenir from it. So yeah, I just thought a key ring would be quite a cute thing as well, just to fill a stocking up. And last but not least are the bookends. So I'll show you the ones that I've got. I got mine from a really cute little independent shop in Northumberland and I just saw them and was like, I have to buy them. So mine were about 35 pounds, but they're like really heavy and I just love them. Um, so I'll just show you them here. And they're just lovely. They're kind of like gold, pretty heavy. And I just think they're such a cool thing to have, if you've, especially if you've got your books on display, just to kind of jazz up your bookshelf. And you can get so many different ones. Like when I was having a Google, you can get like Stormtrooper ones, you can get dinosaur ones, gold leopard ones. So there's so many to choose from, but I just love those. And I just think they just add like a bit of a character to a bookshelf. So that's everything guys. I really enjoyed this video. It was really fun to make, um, just kind of sourcing everything and just trying to find things that were a little bit different, a little bit more unique for someone for a kind of book lover's present. Um, so let me know if you would get anything, if you thought this was helpful and look out for part two. I'm really excited about part two. There's some really cool things in that one as well. And take care guys. Bye. A bit different this week is the book lover's guide to reading. That's not. It takes the pressure off you because you don't know what they've already read. If they're an avid book lover, fuck's sake. The person you were buying the book for uh, the cushion for it had like a special sort of reading spot and they're called paper and words i don't think it's coming into focus there focus 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 nope you don't want to you do not want to focus for me also get um like a, a zoom call sort of chat thing like yoga thing that was shit what are you saying aiden also loved about why oh uh, why also what 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 I also so let me know if you think you'll get anything if you found this helpful and yeah take care guys take care guys